and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Hainick, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Booyah! Oh, jeez. You always got to get out of hand here. <laughs> Top five gentle stretches. Gentle. I'm relaxed now, Bob. Implement. I got it out of yeah. my system. Gentle stretches to reduce shoulder pain. What we'll do, in fact, is we'll start off with some real gentle ones. We'll work up to a couple, too, that are maybe a little more aggressive, but you can do it gently, but yep. they're, they're a little more... Very controllable. Assertive. Okay, in case you're new to our channel, I bet you don't have the channel. I do, do, too. In case you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels. Uh, we're always giving something away. We're giving away one of our products right now, Brad. Which one? The wall the anchor. wall anchor. Yeah. You can't go wrong with the wall yeah. anchor. So go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway mm -hmm. section, and we'll ask for your email so we know how to get a hold of the winners, right? Right. And Or go to Facebook and go to Bob and Brad. And you will find it pinned to the top of the page. Pinned to the top of the page. All right. Quite often what we find, Brad, is that especially movements in the correct direction can help reduce shoulder pain, especially shoulder impingement. Right. We have right. found that especially the last two exercises we do today, I, th I think they've been tremendous responses to, right. the, to, to that shoulder pain. And actually, some of these, you're correct in saying we have found that they're, we, That's right. we didn't learn them from some of the experts, but we definitely. We discovered them. We're like Columbus of the shoulder. Right. Well, actually, um, we did kind of gather information from them. Adapting them? Yeah. Well, you know, it's all. I'm not sure. Can't take all the credit ourselves. So we're going to start off with number one is the pendulum. And this is a very common one. Right. Um, Brad, I'll show it this way if you want to show it that way. Sure. Maybe. So the, the key to this is, again, your shoulder is very painful. You maybe are icing it or something. Mm -hmm. You just want to start getting some movement. And I don't want you to move the arm like this. You're actually going to sway the body. Yep. You just, you're getting a little traction on the shoulder, and you're getting a little movement just by using the body to move it forward and back. Now, Brad's doing right there because you can also go side to side. And you can also go into circles. Yep. You can go clockwise and counterclockwise. Usually I'll have patients do this about 30 seconds. Sure. Uh, each direction, depending on, on where they're at. But it should feel good. This is very commonly used after surgeries. Yes. Anytime there is a rotator cuff injury where things are, are, are sore and it doesn't want to, you know, you're not able to do this yet. Yeah, you're just trying to get some movement, some blood flow to the area right. without causing, you know, more pain. Right. So um, you can do that one for a couple days sure. if, you know, if you want to just tr start to get things calmed down. Right. Next one is, uh, this is probably a lot from our occupational therapy friends. <laughs> now, see, <laughs> that could be me. <laughs> you just hit hit Sam. Well, it would have been better off you. I feel bad about this one. <laughs> All right, carry on. All right, show the towel, Brad. This is our occupational therapy. Oh, yeah. uh, friends often use this one. So you got a smooth surface, which is a table, which uh, most right. everyone has at home. And you take a towel and, you know, you can open it up like this, get a chair, and you're going to use good posture. And, and you're just going to slide forward on the towel. And as I do this, my shoulder is flexing or Coming yep. up, we're going into like flexion. Yep. yep. So if I go off to the side, we're going into flexion. Now, the first couple times you do this, I want you to start off just by doing it as Brad's doing it. But eventually, what you might want to work it your way into is actually pushing the hands into the table so while I'm, you're doing it. Yeah. Like I'm squishing the towel down. If there was water, then I'm going to squish the water out. Yeah. And what that'll do is it's going to help set the shoulder down in the socket a little more. Maybe help put it in a better position so that, that you don't get as much impingement. There you go. So, so you know, one thing I, I like to do is something like this, Bob. It works pretty good. I'll, I'll just take an object, put that on the table, and, and then you'll just go out and say it starts to hurt there, and that's all the farther you're going to go out. But now you know how far you went. That's a good idea, Brad. So you can go a little bit far. That way you know if you're starting to gain range of motion. Now, you can do this with just one arm, too. Oh, sure. I mean, uh, yep. work it that way, too. And again, as time goes on, you push down. Like mm. Brad said, you're trying to squeeze the water out of the rag or the towel, and you, and you push forward, and that's going to, again, 
start to set the shoulder like we would like want it. You could do this for abduction. You could do for abduction to too. the side as well. Yes, yes, sir. All you right, the next one, um, wax on, wax yeah. off. There right? you go. Next one, you got to actually, you're going to need like a broomstick, Ooh. a dowel. You can use the Bob and Brad booyah stick. Booyah you can become stick. part of the booyah club. Um, with this, we're going to do shoulder extension. Ah. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your palm down on this one. This one can be palm up or palm down too. Right. Either way. And so you're just, you're just this gonna, is the shoulder that's being worked. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Brad. And uh, be in good posture and you're just gently work it back. Now, as Brad always likes to mention, make sure you're breathing while you're doing this. Yeah. Just nice, relaxed breathing. You go up to the point where you maybe feel a little bit of pain and then back off. This is not an exercise in increasing pain. This is an exercise in starting to get some motion and starting to get some blood flow to it, but not increasing the pain. Uh, are we going to show this option too? Yeah, sure. Why don't you go ahead and show that, Brad? So, you know, you can take the stick here and put it behind you, straight behind you. Bring, the, bring your arm up, whatever you can, actively without pain. And, and assuming you have good balance in your study, you can just bend your knees and that extends. And you're just going to go down. You'll feel the stretch. You're not going to go into any sharp pain, just a, a comfortable stretch is all you're going to do. Yeah, and this is gentle. And this is, you know, 10 repetitions would be a good number to go. And you can do that throughout the day three, four, five times, depending on how it responds. If it feels better while you're doing it and afterwards, keep doing it more. So then we're going to move into the two that Brad and I basically invented in our minds. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is the Brad invention, the Statue of Liberty. Sure. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Brad, you can do it on the table. Yep. So you, you take your stick. It, now, you have to have a stick that doesn't slip and slide. Right, That's right. critical. Um, and you'll take your, your sore shoulder. This works. This can be a good one for uh, to stretch your shoulder as well as the impingement, the hanging. Uh, it's it's actually a great one for arthritis, Brad. Oh, I, sure. I used this with an arthrit arthritic patient, and it just worked great because he, he had a lot of pain lifting the arm but once the arm up was up there he got it up there he was fine so he could do this even lift yeah. it up there this way oh and then he could stretch it this way right. he really liked it so the key is with this one you can you can get it up as high as you can and if you only go about this high it's not going to work this is only going to work if you're able to get near full range and then you just lean forward and that really does, puts a lot of uh, uh stretch on that shoulder it's almost and, like a traction yep and uh, latissimus a, dorsi, you get, it's a good stretch on those muscles as well. You can do this in a seated position as well. Yep, you can do it in a chair. So can, I'm going to go here and then just lean forward. I had uh, someone that had a shoulder replacement. Uh, it, I didn't do it on this, the one that had surgery, but his other shoulder had that. I was going to say, I wouldn't do it on the replacement no, shoulder. No, but his other one was scheduled to have surgery. I said, well, stretch it out doing this. And he could, and it, it didn't bother him. He said, oh, that feels like a good stretch. You know, I was hoping that it work or loose enough. Maybe he didn't need the surgery, but I, I don't know what happened. He with never him. found out. But no, he, uh, Brad and I both have had really a lot of success with that stretch and this next one. Yeah. I mean, really, I mean, somewhat it's almost been into the miracle realm. I mean, seriously. Uh, so the next one is the chicken wing. I'm working. This is the one I'm going to work. Oh, I know got, this is a little bit. All blue yeah. and blue here. We so right we're going to put it over my shoulder like this, mm -hmm. and I'm grabbing it palm out. My palm is going out. This top one, the palm's going forward. And now I don't want to hit my head, so I'm going off to the side one way or the other. I usually like to go to the right side of my head for my left arm. Yep. And, again, you're going to start off. Now, you may have trouble. Brad, they may have trouble even grabbing the, grabbing the arm. Right, the getting back it. here. Yeah. There's a sore shoulder. If you cannot get back there because it hurts, your shoulder's not ready They're for They're not it. ready for this, right. And sometimes, Brad, I even have them do this a little bit first. Yep. I just have them working it into internal rotation. But eventually, this is the moneymaker here. This is the one I want them to do. And Brad said this is the chicken wing mo uh, motion, so we call it the chicken wing. They used it in wrestling, right, Brad? Yeah, when you get your arm up like that, you're chicken winging the other person. And you got to be careful. You can't go past 90 degrees. And, and the same here. Probably that's about all the farther you're going to go. Right. Pain is going to be your guide. It should not create pain. If you are, it's you need to back off. Again, gentle, gentle, gentle. So basically, it's pressure on, pressure off. And... 
Can you see these sticks okay against the yeah. blue? Okay. The amazing thing to me about this, Brad, is and I, when you experience it yourself, this is where you become a believer. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and I was seriously having some pretty decent shoulder pain on this side. And I did two things. I did that stretch, the Statue of Liberty, yep. and I did the, the chicken wing. Chicken wing. Gone. I mean, it was gone within, it, it, was, it decreased right away, yep. like within a, a week or two. It's, it was gone within about three weeks, four weeks. Sure. And now I do this as a maintenance. Yep. When I'm stretching my calf muscle, I actually put this up there. I, I do a oh, double stretch. Sure. Yep. Multitasking. And, so, again, you know, these stretches aren't going to make things go away in a day. You have to work with them and allow the body to have time to heal, but they promote it because you had that shoulder problem for a long time, long time, and yeah. then it started to get better after you started. And I tried this. some other traditional things that didn't work, and yeah. that's why you know that's why I get excited about this. I mean, I you know I think we got we can help a lot of people. So I think you're right. All right, booyah, oh, booyah, booyah. <laughs> He's a little nervous around me when Real I get nervous. With the stick. I'll agree. <laughs>